Every week, we're seeing a new AI model come out. Companies are competing for that number one spot for the best AI coding model for the future. And DeepSeek just released an absolute banger of a new product, which is called DeepSight, and it blows everything out of the water. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use DeepSight to build full stack web applications using only the chat app deep site that they've provided using only that you don't have to touch a single piece of code and you know what the best part is it's completely for free this preview is completely for free so if you want to build a website whether it be a personal brand an seo marketing agency maybe a portfolio website stick around let's build something using deep site and evaluate it against other products now in this video i'm going to focus on a deep site but i'm going to also focus on comparison i saw a lot of comments and then people messaging me on the discord group by the way there's a discord group where you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one. i answer all the questions on there and they keep asking me hey we want comparison between the models because there's so many models releasing we don't know which one to use so today we're going to compare deep sight with bolt.new and lovable.dev they're kind of the three similar projects or apps or products and we're going to see which one's the best and i have a feeling that this one deep sight is the best one so let's get started so you are greeted with this you know, window right here. And then what you can see is, is you see this HTML or index.html file. You can ask the AI anything, and then you see a display right here in front of you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a basic app, okay? So I wanna create an app where it's a website where you can ask AI about a certain stock ticker and it will give you all the insights and it will tell you whether or not it's a solid investment. Basically, it's like your personal investment portfolio. So we are just gonna take this prompt and we're gonna open three windows. We're gonna go on both. We're gonna go on lovable.dev and we're gonna evaluate these types of websites where you can create these single prompt, fully full stack apps. Ask lovable, we're gonna ask deep site to do it. And then we're gonna ask bolt.new to do that too. So we're gonna see exactly what the results are. I'm gonna stay on deep site so I can show you guys what's gonna happen. And as you can see, it's generating the code. It's not super fast, but it looks great. Trust me on this. As you can see, it's creating this single page HTML document with all the scripts and styles and such. Now, who is this for? This is for people who want to create single page websites, like people who want to create a personal portfolio. Maybe you have a brick and mortar business. For example, you own a hotel, you own a gas station, you own a action figure place, any brick and mortar store, think of it. You want to create your own website for that restaurant or platform for that brick and mortar store, you can create it using this. So we have already reached a point in both where they're requiring a API key. We're just going to say use Yahoo Finance. It's already asking us for way too much. I can tell you guys, uh, DeepSeek's model, like DeepSight, will create the stuff without any of these questions. Okay, so the first one to finish was lovable.dev. Do Apple, for example. If we do Apple, search for the stock, it doesn't have functionality. I can't search. Um, so let's see if bolt.new was able to get something. It's not working. It's failed to analyze the stock. So we're just going to add Apple right here, search for it. And then we got AA. I think we want Apple here. Search. And then we got this. So we've got this awesome, nice looking app, Stock Whisper. We've got a dashboard or settings that don't work, but that's fine. Let's see where DeepSight is. DeepSight already has created this awesome landing page with insights, this hero section. That's it for Lovable. Let's move to Bolt on you. Let's see what it did here. Let's try to search for Apple, analyze again struggling still we're gonna give it while lovable required two prompt uh bolt is on its third fourth you know prompting to fix this and we haven't gotten to a good result yet so yeah deep site on the other hand is still working hard at creating a fully fledged website deep site has just finished so now we can actually analyze and check with this app so as you can see it's produced some awesome results there are some fillers here that it's added like these comparisons uh, I would love to see this stuff and I would love to get the latest news what's interesting is it splits up each section into its own deep site so here you can ask it to create the actual index.html for the page that you're specifically here so here if you click on features you can ask it to create the features page and it will go ahead and create it uh, but we're gonna stick with just the main point here if we want Amazon it gives you a nice logo I like this I like the ticker see that the current price is 100 than six while the Amazon here is 100. 
128. It's probably not gotten the correct information. If we search up Amazon right here, neither actually got the right information. If we check with uh, Bolt, it's still not even there. So I'm just gonna close with this one, but we can simply start prompting it to fix this information. We can ask it to use Yahoo Finance for the APIs and for the news. Uh, we can, you know, basically start prompting it. But in general, it's produced a beautiful looking website with a single prompt. I can't blame it for not getting the correct uh, pricing data because it doesn't know that it needs to get the right pricing data. Okay, so that was it. That was DeepSight from DeepSeek. Now, I like at the end of the video to tell you what the use cases for this tool is because if it's not for you, you won't waste your time and use it. If you're using this to create basic apps like a stock finder, like a calorie tracker, or something like that, you know, just basic stuff, not something with a full fledged, full stack web application with like front end, back end authentication and all that stuff. Although it will be able to do that, but I don't highly suggest using this one for it. Again, I highly suggest using Cursor and all these other tools. This is good for an MVP or like a first beginner product. Also, this is good for people who wanna create a personal portfolio. If you have a personal portfolio you wanna create and yeah, just generally small websites that you can create, this will help you create them. You don't have to hire someone or a software engineer to make it for you. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. Again, join the Discord down in the description if you have any questions for me. I answer everybody, but that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Be safe, be well. Goodbye.